The Indian Air Force has conducted its first extended range test of BrahMos A supersonic cruise missile from an Su 30 MKI over the Bay of Bengal. Viewers may note that a no TAM of 670 kilometers or 416 miles was already issued by Indian Air Force. The missile precisely hit the target ship in the Bay of Bengal, which led to its sinking. Indian Air Force stated, the extended range capability of the missile coupled with the high performance of the Sukhoi gives the IAF a strategic reach and allows it to dominate future battlefields. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why India's successful test of BrahMos A extended range is a key capability boost. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. BrahMos is developed jointly by India's Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO, and Russia's NPO Machina Stroyenya. It's powered by a ramjet engine. BrahMos is currently considered to be one of the most deadly cruise missiles in the world. The reason is its unique features. 1. It has a supersonic speed of Mach 3, or 1 km per second, providing very little time to intercept. 2. BrahMos uses a 300 kg or 660 pounds semi-armor-piercing warhead and also has very high kinetic energy since kinetic energy is directly proportional to the square of velocity. BrahMos actually has about nine times the kinetic energy of conventional subsonic missiles like Tomahawk. The combined destructive force of massive warhead and kinetic energy is lethal for even the biggest surface warships and bunkers. BrahMos has been known to break ships in half in several tests. 3. It can perform S maneuvers in the final stages of flight. The missile basically doesn't move in a straight line, making it very hard to intercept. 4. There are lots of redundancies in the guidance system, right from the INS, GPS, GLONASS and Gagan, making it hard to jam. 5. The accuracy of around one square meter makes it apt for a precision strike on high-value targets. India was earlier not part of the Missile Technology Control Regime MTCR. Russia could not help or jointly develop a missile with a non-MTCR nation like India whose range is more than 300 kilometers or about 186 miles. But India entered MTCR in 2016. After this, India tested an ER or extended range version of land launched BrahMos. The latest test is of BrahMos AER, which is the air launched variant. As per the reports, it has a range of 450 kilometers or about 280 miles. BrahMos A is a modified variant of its basic configuration and is specifically designed for air launch. It features several design refinements which include a lighter propulsion system, weight reduction as well as redesigned fins and nose caps. Though BrahMos A is lighter than the original BrahMos, it is still a heavy missile and integration with a fighter aircraft required many changes that included strengthening the Su-30 MKI airframe, particularly its underbelly weapon station, the addition of new hardpoints and modification of cockpit controls. On June 25, 2016, 
a modified Indian Air Force Sukhoi Su-30 MKI aircraft carried a BrahMos A. This is the first time in the world that such a heavyweight supersonic cruise missile was integrated into a fighter aircraft. The twin-seat multi-role fighter took off and conducted a 45-minute sortie with the missile attached to its underbelly. Sukhoi-30 MKI is the backbone of the Indian Air Force, and it has around 200 of these. It's a twin-seater, twin-engine fighter, developed by Russian aircraft maker Sukhoi and licensed and built in India by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited HAL. It has abilities similar to the Sukhoi Su-35, with which it shares many features and components. Su-30 MKI is a multi-role fighter capable of executing both air-to-air -air and air-to-land attack missions. It's interesting to note that the MKI version of the Su-30 includes Israeli and French avionics. For example, the aircraft is fitted with a French-made heads-up display system, an Israeli-made electronic warfare system, and an advanced targeting pod. As per reports, 42 Sukhoi have been modified to equip Ramos A. Chinese ships have often been spotted gathering information in the Bay of Bengal. This indicates that China wants to expand its sphere of influence in these waters, like it's done in the South China Sea. The People's Liberation Army Navy is expanding fast, and its warships are getting bigger. Its latest class of destroyer, Type 055, is an example of China's growing naval might. To counter this, in January 2020, Indian Air Force commissioned the 222 Tiger Sharks Squadron, consisting of modified Sukhoi Su-30 MKI fighter jets in Thanjavur armed with BrahMos A missiles. The specialist squadron that has a maritime role is also known as the dominator of the Indian Ocean region. BrahMos is a deadly weapon, and as demonstrated multiple times in tests, a single hit from this weapon is enough to sink or cripple a large warship. With the test, the IAF has achieved a significant capability boost to carry out precision strikes from Sukhoi against targets on land and at sea over very long ranges. Subscribe for more videos like this, hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.